Hi friends, my name is Rohan Balachandra. Today's video, rate cut over what is the prediction for next one year. Yesterday late night, the US Federal Reserve announced an interest rate cut of 0.5%. This means that banks will also reduce their interest rates for borrowing loans. Interest rate cut is usually done to help revive the economy since lower cost of money will help companies to borrow and expand their business and individuals will also be able to save more due to lower interest payable. In the short term, usually a rate cut has a positive effect on the stock markets. However, when the rate cut happens after a long period of high interest rates, the impact on the economic growth has already happened. Historically, positive impact of rate cut will be seen in the US economy usually after 12 to 18 months after the first rate cut. Until then, the economy struggles. In the previous two times, when there were major rate cuts after high interest rates, the following is the historical data. Even during COVID times in 2020, the US Federal Reserve cut interest rates to help the economy. We have not included that data since it is an exceptional situation and such situations happen usually once in 50 or 100 years only. Past major Fed Reserve rate cuts 0.5% cut. January 2021, the interest rate cutting started by US Federal Reserve and the US index of S&P 500 fell by 39% in the next 448 days. At that time, percentage change in Nifty was 17% in the next 480 days. September 2007, the US index S&P 500 fell by 54% in the next 372 days and Nifty fell by 44% in the next 400 days approximately. So, even though the severity of the fall may be different, market has followed the US markets and other global markets also have fallen. Now we have to see with the interest rate cut happening from September 2024, what will be the impact on US markets and Indian markets. It is possible that the US markets fall heavily without Indian markets falling. However, the chances of that happening is low. There are higher chances of some fall in other markets including Indian markets when there is a fall in US markets. We need to see how severe it will be. As mentioned in our video recently, do not be surprised if there is a good correction in markets. This could be the first major correction after the March 2020 fall due to Corona. Most investors in Indian stock markets currently have entered after April 2020 and hence have no experience of seeing a major fall in the markets. This information is not to create panic or fear in investors. It is meant to keep you mentally prepared so that you do not panic if and when a correction really happens. When we are mentally prepared to see our portfolio down 20 to 30 percent and can be comfortable, then we will be able to manage the situation in a better way. If there is a fall in markets towards the end of this year or next, then long term investors must be extremely happy since you can take advantage of the opportunity to invest at lower prices. If you do not have money to invest as lump sum, then you can just observe how markets behave and continue to hold your stocks or mutual funds and continue regular SIP. Selling due to panic when markets fall is one of the biggest mistakes of investors. Of course, we are assuming that you hold good stocks or mutual funds in a portfolio which may temporarily fall and do well in the long term. If you have some weak stocks, some of them may not recover even when the overall markets rise after the correction. So review your portfolio seriously once again to check the strength of the companies. The next 12 months for the market are going to be quite interesting and probably different from what most investors have experienced in their investing journey. You will learn many valuable lessons and understand how the bear phase is for stock markets. So this is a good learning experience especially for new investors. Next one year, let us see how markets behave but there is a good chance that there could be some weakness and how much weakness we will have to wait and see. If you like this video, please click the like button and answer this question in the comment section. Irrespective of what happens in markets in the next 12 months, what would you prefer? A. Rally in the next 12 months B. Fall in the next 12 months or C. Stagnate markets for next 12 months Whatever you wish to happen, just type in the comment section. This is today's video. If you like this video, please click the like button and share this video with all your friends. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. All the best.